Welcome everybody to DreamHack 2015 Hearthstone Grand Prix. I will be your host for this game. My name is Nimsh and I'm joined here at the casting desk by Super JJ from Complexity and Lothar from Nilum. Hi guys. Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm doing great guys and we're going <laughs> to see an amazing game. Ecop versus Sixo. So I'm sure about that. German up. Blitzkrieg. <laughs> <laughs> That might be taking it a bit too far, man, but uh, yeah. those well, are great, great players. They might play, you know, aggro decks and it will be accurate then, right? You think it's, uh, it will be a 3-0? No, like well, maybe, maybe. JJ, you're from German too, right? Yeah, but I don't know. I, I would say it uh, will be a great match and they are bef uh, both really good players, so I'm looking forward to that. That's okay. pretty nice. And actually both players are 2-0 at the moment in the Swiss format. So uh, those guys are the winner's table, kind of. Like, we had those elimination matches before. Whoever loses is kind of out of the tournament. But right now, those guys are the top brass of the Swiss, uh, of the Grand Prix that we are running here. So uh, it's still far away when it comes to advance, uh, advancing to the top eight, because today we only have uh, three rounds. So every player will play uh, three matches and four matches tomorrow. But being 3-0 of the first day, has to boost morale here for, for the players. So this is one of the most important games here uh, for both of them. Like being 3-0, 2-1 the next day and coming for fresh mind for, you know, just taking it over with a three or four wins on the next day. I, I feel like it's more important to be, uh, to have a free, uh, free mindset than just be on the toes because you already lost one. So this, is, this will be really important for both of them. Yeah, because like if you're a 3-0, you just go to the, you, you go back to the hotel uh, you're relaxed and you know that tomorrow, hey, I'm coming back and I'm just playing those four matches and I can lose one and I will yep. qualify, I will get to the top eight. But if you are a 1-1 one, one or like 2-1 after the end of the day, you'll be thinking, hey, I can't lose. I just can't lose. So you're thinking, what, what can you do? What matchups are you going to have um, next day? So you're basically yep. stressed. Yeah, that's true. Ah, I like it. Um, I have to say I played a bit today as well and it's like, this is really, this is a really hard tournament and I really respect that. Um, I talked a bit, uh, bit with them, it's like they have really good lineups. Um, so this will probably w be one of the best matches of today. I'm pretty sure about that. All so right, so we can uh, look at the lineups right now. We have Warlock for both players and... Uh, wow, Warlock Priest to begin with. Ecop is bringing Priest. What do you guys <laughs> think about that? <laughs> one of the first time I see Ecop playing Priest for like a year, <laughs> maybe more. <laughs> I he loved the class back <laughs> in the day. I never saw him playing Priest, but I like it. Um, I think he's trying to counter Patron with, with his lineup, wi which is not bad. Well, countering Patron kind of sometimes, <laughs> you know, <laughs> blows back into your face. Yeah, I know that. Well, Ikab is 2-0 in the tournament right now, so it means that he at least won two games with that Priest. Because yeah. in Conquest, you have to win with the class to advance. Mm -hmm, and it seems like true. Priest is the Cloud9 tech. Colento was playing Priest all the time in those tournaments. Recently, he didn't do that well with it. Yeah. But overall, it, it is a strong deck in, um, in, in hands that know how to play it. I, I think he's playing a a different um, type of Priest. It seems more like Light Bomb. But he also runs Valence Chosen, and I saw like the Orcanai. Maybe it's like a mix between Light Bomb Priest. Well, this is Py Pyromancer's Valence Chosen Light yeah. Bomb, so it's uh, uh, control heavy, you pretty might say, right? Mixed up, yeah. But I like it. It looks pretty risky to play the. Um, to play the, 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 the Priestess without any effect on the board, right? Because that card doesn't do any pressure, mm -hmm. and what you want to do with it is just only draw cards in this situation. So playing that just without drawing any card might back backfire in the lock game. True, but I think it's pretty hard as a Priest. Like, either you're facing a hand lock and you have to go for it because you're so unfavored and you need mm -hmm. kind of the cards. Or yeah, of course. Or you're facing a Sulog and then it's like super good. Yeah, this is originally That's a true. very bad matchup for the Priest. Yeah. So how can uh, Priest win this matchup if it's so bad for it? Well, <laughs> the Valence Chosen might be doing work here. Yeah, that's true. Valence Chosen is really good. You need to go... Uh, yeah, you need a pretty good curve, I would say. And yeah, the problem is like with the Cleric, he lost his card range and it's like... That, <laughs> that is not good. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying hi to the viewers. Yeah. Well, in this situation, uh, Sixo has to do oh, something whoa. about the Pyromancer <laughs> and... That hurt. To be honest... <laughs> That implosion was useless anyway. Even yeah, if it hits for four, that's true. Six uh, Ecop just heals the pyromancer. How much damage is it, by the way? That's pretty crazy with the pyromancer. Wait, and wait, the wait. That's so you first heal the uh, the warden, right? Yeah. You first heal wow. the warden, 
like circle and then holy no how much get this no thing? no, no. L look at that y okay. you heal you use hero power right on the warden then you use um the um the one mana heal uh, oh and you get oh wow so, so you can get two of those right yeah that's true so it's better for future turns to have two that's true i, I would have gone with that i think it's a better play but He's because in, in this situation, he just he is pushed to use false seal, right? Because you have to play around mortal coils. Let's nah. see. It's hard to play around mortal coil. Yeah, I don't think you can play around mortal coil with the pyromancer. Well, he just done that, right? Uh, is there, he so. is he forced to to false seal? That was a hard turn, bro. We have to say it's not easy um, because he wants to keep it out of the mortal coil range. Yeah, but I, I think with the additional heal and not false seal, he would have done. Like more damage here would have w get one big threat on the board. Oh yeah. That would be too much. Uh, two, two more damage, right? Yeah, two, two more damage and additional yeah. minion at the same time. But then your hand is empty. So if your opponent can deal but with that, you already are, uh, you're already all in with this game. You, there's yeah. like no way out. It's kind of you need. You don't need the second light of Naru. Like what are you going to do with yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. So better yeah. use it here. I think it's fine. But um, yeah. one of lethal. Yeah, one <laughs> of lethal. Yeah, he has seven points of damage as yeah. a priest. That's pretty hard, man. Would have been lethal with um, yeah. with the second sure. um, Light Warden. Of course. Oh, wait! Valence Chosen! We all forgot about Valence Chosen! Oh, wow. Yeah, that's three points of damage! Even Eco forgot, forgot about it! Forgot this is like <laughs> Everybody <laughs> forgets about this plus one spell damage! Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, but. <laughs> I guess. I guess Sixo. I don't want to see the chat at the moment because. Doesn't look too good for us. I yeah, guess. well, yeah. doesn't look good for uh, anyone. Well, Ignite Everybody. forgot about it too at six yeah. story cap. Like everyone forgets about it. Actually, JJ didn't forget about it at the last show match we had. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess Lofa remembers it. Yeah. And you guys played against each other. Yeah. yeah, it was funny. All right, so Priest got a win already, and uh, Ikab is one over six. So now, what's left? Warlock and Warrior. Now we can also look in retrospect uh, for uh, about the priestess turn one, with, uh, with, uh, which I brought up, right? Because if he wouldn't play the priestess, then the Darkborn would have killed the Pyromancer, yeah, so true. he wouldn't a be able to finish the game so quick. So playing the priestess turn one was really, really useful this time, because it was baiting out the Darkborn. I think yeah. you generally do it because against Sue it's super good, and against Handlock you, you need to do it anyways, um, mm -hmm. since you don't have mm -hmm. another option, so... Yeah. In general, I would say Cleric turn one. It's fine. He played it fine. He even played better <laughs> than we thought. <laughs> <So it's laughs> yeah, well, that's why he's sitting there and playing. <laughs> yeah, and we are sitting here <laughs> and casting. All right, guys. So we see Mage versus Warrior this time. And there is a Mana Worm opening. Oh, it's con yeah, Control Warrior. So, so Mana Worm with Mirror Image on turn two is pretty good really against strong. Pretty really good strong. against Warrior, yeah. Are like you sure it's a Control Warrior? It can still be Patron. <sighs> I no. think I think Ecop's uh, lineup is more like against to counter Patron, right? It seems like that. Yeah, like priest, handlock, and warrior, yeah. counter warrior. That might seem is a patron counter. Let's see. That's gonna be an interesting match. It's so funny that we've seen so many warrior cards and we ca we still can't say. Yeah, because of these like this mixed decks, it's kind of weird. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, you need like at least five turns to know it, um, what it is. Yeah, Unle <laughs> unless you s see a um, you know. Grim Pageant in the opening hand yeah, before true. the mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> or a loot hoarder that gives yeah, away loot to loot hoarder, Grim Pageant. That's the stuff. That's true. Well, that's and in rage. It's, like, it's so impressive how good the mirror image is against the warrior in the beginning because either it soaks up the weapon damage or you're just getting so much extra damage. And, uh, so good. <laughs> Pretty good pickups for 6 0 point cannon and stable portal. Yeah. And the flame cannon is really insane against uh, cards like almost waves. It's like. What do you do here in um, Ecop's case? Um, just play the Ac Acolyte, I guess. It should be fine. Yeah, it's not like you can do much. Uh, you can execute the Mana Worm if you want to with Taskmaster yeah. Execute, but it seems like a waste. You want to seems execute too something much. bigger. Yeah, it's also yeah. like you can like shield block, shield slam next turn. It's like you're investing too much with the Execute, I guess. Acolyte should be nice. Like Even if the Mana Worm trades into it, you're getting a yeah, card. It so it soaks up the damage. I like it. So Taskmaster, well, he was, he Taskma was doing the execute move, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you play Taskmaster, definitely do execute. But um, as JJ said, there is a shield block shield slam as well. So whatever is being played on four, you should be able to get it. Unless it's uh, water elemental, then you will have not enough armor there. I think like Ecurb is thinking like this. Like it's a really aggressive deck, the mage deck, and he re really wants to keep every damage off the board as soon as he can and as fast mm -hmm, as he can. Mm -hmm. 
And you and can argue like that if he wants to remove the next threat, he can still use the shield box to shield slam, so. Yeah. Should be okay. But also, having more than one minion makes the flame cannon worse, way worse. And you know that he plays that, that, uh, that card. That's oh, true. wow. Harrison Jones. Yeah, but the outcome is the same here, I guess. Just he gets um, one more damage in, I guess, with the Armorsmith. Yeah. Harrison Jones will be useless this game. Um, hmm. Maybe as a 5 4, actually. Um. Yeah, but it's very weak to flame cannon. <laughs> that's actually pretty poor. But there's a lot of minions aboard. Uh, let's see. Well, you want to play? Oh, second mirror image. Now did uh, this might change a lot because you have a flame waker with okay. mirror image and frostbolt or flame cannon. So you set up a really pretty nice flame waker, even if it does. Uh, um, if, if it gives a lot of uh, armor to the warrior, it doesn't really matter because he already used shit, one shield slam. And if you just keep uh, the flame waker al uh, alive for one turn, then just spam more, more no, and more spells. That swap, oh, that was a crazy turn. Look man. at that! If he hits the, the armor smith, that would be big. Yeah, I think it hit. I can oh wow! I think it's still fine. Maybe. Oh no, no flame cannon, but maybe frostbolt on the belcher. You might flame cannon still, I believe. Really? You, you if you hit the armorsmith, what then? Then it's, then it's awful. That's not good enough. Maybe the 50-50 is a big gamble. I here. think the frostbolt is better. Yeah, I like yeah. it more. Like, but if you miss it, oh come on! Uh, 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 oh, 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 he hits it. <laughs> that yeah. was close. Yeah, but I like it. it. Like, you don't have the chance to hit the um, um, armorsmith here, so it's fine. Sylvanas is a great draw. It's kind of a problem, like. Um, against this mage, um, he, he snowballed so fast here, like he will just clear the board again. Um, yeah, but the Sylvanas actually does something about this situation, well, then he just right? plays the mirror image, right? Well, he, he does. Um, Ecop doesn't know that, that there's a second uh, mirror yeah, image yeah. in the hand, right? You don't play around the second copy of a card yeah, that was already I played. I think Sylvanas is really good here. Much better than Shield Maiden. Wow, but double mirror image. I haven't seen two of them in, a, in this um, kind of deck. But then really? again, he has like uh, Ecop has a taunt set up, right? And he has uh, still a lot of Ow. health. Well, I guess. <laughs> well, <laughs> you have a tempting <laughs> green card in your hand yeah, that says I have a goblin, goblin in it, and I have two bombs. But so. I think the mirror image is a bit better because of the. Oh wow! Oh. Oh. Portal from the portal. Yeah, it's actually funny. Is he is he portaling for the silence? By the way. <laughs> come <laughs> on, <laughs> come on! He can try with another one. That's too much esports. <laughs> Oh man, he's doing it! Iron Bigao! That, that would be a kidnapper. Kidnapper. Oh, oh that's a good one though. Just mirror image and um, um, play it, right? I guess so, yeah. Then you kill the. Probably you will kill the 1 1 to go for uh, seven dam 6 damage to the face. And, and pray that there is no brawl, I guess. Huh? Can you play the portal, by the way? Or will we have too many minions so Dr. Boom will oh, not be that good? I think if you play the portal, it doesn't go below 1. Isn't it that the rule of the portal? As it says, uh, yeah, like it's uh, it doesn't go. No, wait. No, that, two up to one. Doesn't I think it actually goes to zero because then you can yeah, go with infinite already combo oh. with. Um, yeah, yeah. Because well, already reduced. That might work. Yeah, that's true. I think he could have played Portal and the Smith here. <laughs> that's funny. But he wants to play around Brawl, I guess, and it's reasonable. It's reasonable, but if you want to win against Control Warrior, you have yeah, to win as soon as possible, right? So you just go all in. I think you go yeah. all in here, uh, like. Um, Quite. If you if the game takes longer, it <laughs> it will not be better for you. So just go for it, I guess. Yeah. Don't so like holding it back too much, I guess. It seems that Ecop is in a good position. He has a Sylvanas. He has still a lot of health. Not that but much damage coming. There's only one mirror image left, so the Sylvanas are taking his uh, the her toll, right? I will just flame Kamen esports the shield maiden. <laughs> well, <laughs> this will suck it then if uh, Sylvanas will take the Asher trick. Uh -huh, yeah. Imagine if the order would be like different. First, the flame worker uh, activates, kills the Sylvanas. Sylvanas takes the Azure Drake, and the flame kind of hits for four. <laughs> <laughs> Esports. <laughs> well, I don't know. You, can you drop Boom here? It's kind of weird. The Sylvanas makes everything so complicated. You have well, to you can drop Portal, then Boom, right? Yeah. Do you well, oh wow! Well, that's a sick turn. Come on. <laughs> but does he have enough space for that? It's like already seven minions. Maybe you just go for the two one into Sylvanas and hope he steals like. There are like um, three bad minions on the board and two good, so it, yeah. I guess it's like goes for it and he's and a bomb. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 fine. that's good. That's good. Outcome. And now he can play both minions from the hand. No, just ping and um, 
Yeah, I guess it's fine. You don't want to get the mad scientist as soon as possible? Because, you know, the mad scientist is, uh, acts more than just a cycle from the, uh, from the deck. If you draw a mirror entity next turn, it's basically a, a, a lost draw. And you're being, you're being in a top deck mode here. The oh, big DGH game hunter from the top is that's huge. That's a, bit, that's a bit too much. Yeah, I think um, you can this, playing the scientist is um, pretty important. Playing it fast, so you don't draw the useless secrets. And yeah. the bomb wasn't that threatening, actually. Yeah, he has both um, secrets left, so yeah, that so sucks a bit. He got BMing a bit. Yeah, it's okay. But he's he isn't like this without this BGH top deck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dr. Boom would do so much damage. He would have done. Emperor. Well, that's kind of too much reduction, I guess. Yeah. Problem is, like, there is not much. There's no burn in, in the hand. There's no value minions in the hand. Like, not, not enough, I guess. Didn't you think what it was better to actually um, hit the bomb to the Shields Maiden so there was a chance of yeah. actually hitting two minions and not a 50 50? Yeah, and then you can flame cannon. And then you can flame cannon and ping. So you, you have more outcomes that will actually favor you in this situation. That would be better. I, yeah. he, he probably just went for like, I definitely need to hit her with he's the bomb. He's playing also a bit fast, man. It's like... Yeah. Six of us on tilt. Nah. I, I, think, will, he I, will, I, I think he is. I think he is, actually. Is? Yeah. Because of the BGH? Because of many things that happened during this matchup. Uh. And uh, he's really a competitive player who, like, he w wants to win at all costs, right? And, uh, well, I know him from, from my former team. We're, yeah. we're teammates. And it was like really competitive. He has really competitive spirits and takes the uh, the, the losses seriously. That's very so tough. Is he's behind two Oven when he can't tilt now? Three but three damage of lethal, by the way. Yeah, it's pretty hard. But it, there is no comeback chance. I don't know a card. I, th I think you just go face. You can just spam Grom and go. On. What about Acolyte of Pain, Taskmaster, yeah. five five for the face, and that's that's basically it. Well, you can also draw. Set up the game next turn. Yeah, it's, it's, hard, yeah. it's hard to throw this game as the warrior. You um, can you can even use the death spite here just to go for face with death spite, because if there is a frost ball, you will not be able to deal damage, and you still have the activator for Grimash. so you deal twelve fine. damage it, anyway. It's fine like this. You, as a warrior, you can just say, "Well, I have the better late game. Let's just play the control game, right?" Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, sure. It's pretty good. Next one, he has twelve damage from the hand. Ah. Uh. Uh, Sixo, Sixo might be really upset about the Priest game as I uh, think he's also. more <laughs> upset about the BGH and then the greetings, right? That, that might be the thing. <laughs> he doesn't look Probably. too excited here. Well, he has still the Asdrick for free mana, so he can fireball afterwards. Let's see. Mirror yeah, Entity, now here, that's here, awful. Here's the dead draw we are speaking yeah. of. Yeah, it's pretty sad. He was he really looking forward to like a second Flame Cannon example. He's playing a bit too fast, I guess. It's pretty sad. If he would sacrifice first, right, the Mad Scientist, he would have less chances of drawing the Mirror Entity with Azure Drake. And that's it, Eka has lethal. Yeah. That's 17 points of damage to 17 points of life. And he will take the game with Warrior. What is, what is up with Six though? He doesn't look... Wow, he's behind 2-0, oh, but he can't tilt now. That's not possible. It's, it's possible to come back, though, but not on tilt. Well, we'll see next game. Oh, wow. Eka is going ham, man. That's wow. Oh, denied! Oh, oh. Ooh, this game is this game is going serious. Okay. Yeah, they're like super serious. Like, look at their faces. Well, Ecop, that it's uh, just Ecop's face, you know. Uh, that's how it looks. <laughs> he <laughs> always looks like that, actually. Okay. Yeah, when he plays, <laughs> he's always like that. <laughs> this is like this. Okay, let's see. Come on, Sixo. So Sixo needs to win with all his decks, and the last deck for Ecop is, I believe, Handlock. Might be Malagos. Oh, it's, I well, guess we saw Malagos from one, one player already, That right? seems like Dragon Warlock against Sandlock. That's a nice matchup for the Dragon Warlock, actually, because you run like double BGH usually. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, a good hand for Sixo. Wow. If he draws an Azure Drake or Twilight Drake, the, uh, also the Corruptor is a great draw. It's, it's I just Emperor a is huge, just huge min. Emperor is it. great. Yeah. Emp Gang Boss is great. Just the, fact tap. the fact that he has a coin is also huge, that you can play on a yeah, five. Sick. I think I think Sixo is highly favored in this matchup. Let's see. Yeah, a very good chance. Ah. Like basically how it goes is like you go into min minion trading, and then Malagos wins because he has the combo. It's just oh BGH. The BGH well, the is not useless. for this player that uh, he it's should have been. Right? Useless. Because yeah. the um, 
the Dragon um, Dragon Warlock doesn't have so much BJ big game hunter targets. There's right? only Doctor Boom, I believe. I like this play from Six of Wolves, the coin, because his hand is not really. He needs some early game. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and yeah, the mm -hmm. coin um, tap makes a lot of sense there. He needs to tap for the owls in the BGH. And it's he's really a dragon. Important. Oh, there is the. Owl. There's an owl for an e cop though. That's Twilight good, Drake. That's a, good draw. that's a good. That's a. That's a draw. Explosion draw. also helps to weaken the opponent's drag, but the, the, the big thing is here, like um, e cop has the owl. Six or doesn't. Also, it's so funny because if he plays the the Drake, he will not have the activator for the Grapplers. But no Six dragons or in Dragon Warlock, really, <laughs> really. Yeah. But he doesn't really need that uh, uh, for now, at least. Let's see. What do we do here? Um, well, you have to play Twilight Drake. There's like not an option, I guess. Well, implosion is kind of an option to weaken the Drake if you're afraid of silence, I guess. If he hits for two, then what? Well, <laughs> what do you do when <laughs> Implosion hits for two? <laughs> yeah, that's Well, bad. there are some situations when it's still okay when it kills just a minion, yeah, right? Because it's it's okay, you just, you're just you not left with a, <laughs> with a huge minion on board. But the good thing, though, for um, Sixo is he doesn't have the coil yet, so... Yeah, exactly. That's pretty huge. But it's pretty sad that he had to play the Twilight Drake and there are no more dragons it's for now. It's not that bad, actually, for Sixo here, since he if he would have a coil, it would be like a disaster, because like the four damage are still hitting in. Mm -hmm. Zombie Troll is not bad. That's good. But I think I, I cop knows Xixxer runs double BGH. He knows this Warlock deck a lot. I think he's even playing it and so on. So, I guess we will see no giants for the first turns. He it's doesn't want to kill the Twilight Drake, which is all that also makes sense. interesting. But then, then the Owl is just basically dying to, to the Imp anyway. Yeah, the, the gang boss would have killed it anyways, and he would have got an additional Imp. So I think. Oh yeah, 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 right. That's a good point. Yeah. I think it's going. That will be a really long game. It doesn't seem like each of those players has like aggressive fans. Well, Hellfire is nice. He is able to clear now. That's true. You know, oh. it's always nice to see players, both players, struggling with a draw because then That's they true. have to take the really, really hard decisions what to do uh, in the game. And when they just both curve out perfectly, then it's like kind of. That's ah, true. I like okay. it. I like it. This yep. will be an exciting match. I'm looking forward because in the first two matches, Ecop had like everything. I wouldn't play the Emperor here. I think the Hellfire is too good to pass it up. You can't play Imagine Emperor if, if you don't have mana for Oh, yeah. He, <laughs> oh, fuck. He was like... Oh, okay. Zapcaster. Imagine he would have a Drake here. Yeah, right. Oh, that, that that Corruptor. Imagine the Corruptor now. Yeah. Oh, there's no Corruptor. Oh, oh, he hits. Oh, eSports. That's why it's Full eSports. Well, actually, if you get two, it was fine as well. That's why you play Implosion, because you roll four, like six, so, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but even with uh, Implosion for two, he would still kill the Drake. Yeah, but yeah, now but you have more threats on the board. Like, this is huge. Now it kind of looks like he has to fail Hellfire. But th he doesn't really want to. It's because he can't develop the board, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Actually, pretty huge. I think it's Maybe so fine. Belcher and kill one of the Imps, right? Yeah, but look how, how huge the four roll is because he can't just kill one. Like, if it would have rolled for two, you could just kill one and play the Drake and say, yeah, fine, there are two Imps on the board. Yeah, now you still exactly. have four left. <laughs> what the fuck? I think Hellfire is, is perfectly fine with Ancient Watcher as a follow up. What about tapping into Twilight Drake? You saw there was no uh, no silence, yeah. so the, you, know, you know the Twilight Drake will, when taunted up, will do really good great work uh, against those imps, right? I, th I think this is fine. But uh, then you're getting five damage to face, and. Do you really care in this situation? Uh, versus Malagos? Yeah. You might, yeah. yeah. Like, let's say Torisan is dropped next turn. And then you're just starting to be really afraid of a possible burst. Ecop is starting. Like the, the problem is, like Sixo didn't have the early answers, but he gives um, uh, Echo gives Sixo the time now to draw into them, actually. And this might be a really interesting match, then. Right now, this hand is so bad. Like, he's not uh, hitting any combo pieces. There are no burst cards and no Maligos. Yeah, but, you know, that's, what, that's one, one of the reasons I didn't like the Hellfire, because he, he, leaves, he leaves the board unchecked. Like, he, his hand is super... Oh, uh, such a bad answer. Well, okay, he, he has the... Yeah. He has the owl yeah, by, by the Ecop, Argus, yeah. But it doesn't matter, like, the story sound didn't hit anything. I mean, it hit a couple of cards, but there is no combo pieces, so... It's kind of a problem sometimes, like, normally with this Warlock deck, you have to reach anyways, and it's kind of tough, like, if you get too greedy with the Emperor, you might not get the turn where you can drop it, so he, you might as well just do it. It's, it's pretty hard. Um, yeah. To pull off the combo. Yeah. yeah it's not like um, Patron Warrior. It's not like you're going to tap, tap, tap and have every piece and then you drop the Emperor. You need to stay in the game as well. So Actually, he yeah. still has a, a lot of bursts thanks to that because yeah. he has Double Corruptor and Dark Bomb now. So on turn 10, he will be able to, to deal... The Emperor is fine here, I guess. Nine points of mana. Savannah is huge. 
But, but if you play Sylvanas right now, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah. You're basically dead because it's six I'm damage, then Dark Bomb for four, that's ten. That's a huge amount of uh, cards that will just end the game right here. Yeah, so you have to play the Belcher. What do we have here? Double Corruptor. Can you double Corruptor? I, I would just like Twilight Rage Corruptor. You also saw that he used his second silence, so Twilight well, Rage Corruptor. You can also play around Molten uh, uh, if you sacrifice a Zombie Child. That's true. Yeah, I do. actually like Defender Vargas. Twilight Drake is fine because you get um, a huge hope. What boost. about just trade the Chow? You play the, cor uh, the Twilight, but you can't play. Yeah, the Twilight Drake is one health weaker, but just play the Corruptor first and then the Drake. Why would you play the Corruptor? I would like to keep Corruptor as a burst card. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. So, like, if you play Defender of Argus, <laughs> second Dark Bomb. You have a great kill there. What do you do here? Well, you, <laughs> you, you want to play like double corruptor dark bomb to finish him off? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's first. He has also two soul fires in the deck, so I guess. I think this turn is fine because you set up nine damage on board, and uh, as I said, you play around molten giants with that kind of play, yeah. and your burst is still huge from the hand. Also keeping the second twilight drake for the second corruptor, so this is actually pretty good. So how much burst is there now uh, with double dark bomb? And Dark Bomb and Corruptor, that's po 9 points of damage. With if the Azure Jake stays. So this is 8, eight 11 from hand and 9 from board. Um, yeah. No, he won't be able to do it this turn. No, I don't think so. Um, There's Maligos, though. Yeah, it's a big dragon, Papa. But it's turn 9. So, t uh, so Ecop will be able to use. The Sylvanas Shadowflame combo. Yeah. Yeah, that is huge. Yeah, you can't play Malagos, but uh, if so you pick you up a Soulfire... You probably won't be able to play Malagos at all until there's Shadowflame gone. Or, so or you draw a Soulfire. Oh, it's useless. Oh, it's, uh, actually, Echo didn't draw a single giant. This, like, I mean, mean like mountain giant so far. Yeah. Might be at use. This is a hard turn for Xyx overall. Uh, I think Argus Twilight still... Yeah, but Sylvanas <laughs> Shadowflame will destroy. <laughs> By the way, it's <laughs> it's <cu> it's peculiar <laughs> that uh, now we see double wow. Gul'dan, oh. tri triple Gul'dan actually, because the oh. artwork that was used for Blackwing Corruptor is actually Gul'dan. I it's Gul'dan, are you sure? Is it really? Yeah, it, it is. It, he was used in World War World of Warcraft TCG. That no, that was a different warlock. That was a uh, that was a warlock hero, and uh, it, it wasn't Gul'dan. That, that, that you sure that? I'm sure. That's okay. Uh, but he has a chance to take the bad, the slime here. That's actually a bit, a bit weird, right? Uh, well, it, he will. If it's Savannah Shadow Flame, the slime will. Then be yes, because yeah. the slime will uh, will spawn yeah. first because the Death Rattle was played weird. first on the board. So yes. I think you just go for the esports. Still good gamble. I would go for yeah, it. Yeah, I would go for it. Like, look at the Shadow Flame is anyways good, and if you get a Drake on top, why not, man? Esports. It's kind of sad that the drag will be at 5. That, that's true, but <laughs> what do you expect, man? If you take the drag, you're pretty happy, I guess. So much Craig has on and this And then turn. you kill the one too. All right, so what is he going to take? 50-50. And Esports. And yep. the drag. There we go. That's why he's 2-0 in this tournament. Let's go. 6-0 is unhappy. So that's third Twilight Drake for Eco. Um, I right? think so, yeah. Oh, man, 6-0 needed a soul fire, really. So all Twilight Drakes are gone. Can he clear this? Uh, well, not really. Not <laughs> no, no, he can't. Well, There's like no option here. It's like well, he could like, yeah, it's actually pretty important. Well, he can kill one of those, but that doesn't really achieve much, and he don't want to sacrifice all the burst. Mm. I think you go for the draw, like with other Drake, and you well, try. So to many options for six. That's a pretty hard turn. Like the stack is not easy to play. It has to be. You can like corrupt or dark bomb, but you don't want to use your um, burst. You want to finish him with that, right? I think corruptor, dark bomb, and defend of Argus is the is the play here. Contest the board. Guild watch. He's just trying to empty his hand so he can start tapping. It's pretty. It's fine like this. I like this turn. It only shows how bad the Torison was. Oh, not not hitting the design, combo pieces. Design yeah. are not going to do anything. I think Echo knows that there is double yeah, DJ. There's like no, no, almost no chance that he didn't draw the big game hunter already. The, the thing we might consider here is like, um, like Sixo dealt with all these annoying drakes and stuff, and with the belchers. And now it just goes, it goes, um, yeah, a bit downhill for him. He can get a tempo from the BGH. It's mm -hmm, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. And now with the emperor of his own, now he can do really nasty stuff, like the. Uh, the Molten Giants for more less than 20. <laughs> That's huge. Huge difference. The Emperor is actually doing nothing here, I guess. Like, 
not not bad. Like just five cards and for handlock, it's not that huge. Oh wow, shadow flame. Mm. Like Drake, shadow flame is a good option, I guess. It is. You draw a card, you clear. Yeah, I think I like it. And you want to clear it, Tori Sun. Yeah. Especially at this point of the game. It's a good turn. Go for it. Amazing turn. And there is a soul, soul fire. fire. Okay. So that's uh, nine points of damage. Can you go for Dark Bomb face oh, really? and hope there is no heal bots? Or, or direct it? Yeah. That would be a risky play. I don't think he needs to play risky here, though, because he has the reach. I guess yeah. in the end he will have... Oh, wow. And he has the upper hand when it comes to all answers uh, to the hand look, like in general. As I said, two big game hunters, and he didn't see any giants yet, so we know that we know like no options for double Molten yeah, Giants or, or Mountain Giant, Molten Giant. This, this match is it's open for both players. For like, you have to see like the BGH will clear a Doctor Boom, but where, like where he has now three gi like four BGH targets in the hand. You know, Sixo has to hurry, <laughs> really. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, but he has a lot of burst, and Ecop doesn't have heal body yet. So uh, it's like how much burst does he? Actually, he just has nine burst, right? Yeah, that's nine burst with the soul fire. But he can he can like stage it so he can dark bomb face. Oh. Like right now he will BGH, let's say. Okay. Play maybe the ga imp gang boss. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, with that I will play probably different of Argus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just well, to build up a board. Why wouldn't you play the boom here? Is he afraid of something? Here. I think the boom's best option here is. Yeah, I don't okay, he wants to play two, two giants. Okay. Two giants are better than Dr. Boom. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sometimes. There's I'm not sure because if you play Dr. Boom and that's the big game hunter, yeah. you can always somehow deal with the with the big game hunter that's left on the board, right? And th this situation, he has to use Hellfire. That's a bit annoying. Like, actually, the thing is here, like if you're a cop, you don't want this Dragon Warlock to have a single minion on the board. Yeah, exactly. Because it might be the, la the one minion which like costs you the game because it smacks your face. This is still an amazing turn with the Hellfire yeah. Dr. Boom follow-up. Well, you can't be happy he's, not, he's higher than 9. Ah, that's a really sick turn. I like that. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. Like, Sixo is struggling now because, yeah, he's kind of playing it a bit too slow. Okay, what do you do here? Well, I, think I, think I think the best thing is, like, Implosion Dark Bomb Phase. Yeah. You just set up for the kill next turn. I think you have what to What about Mortal Coil? Yeah. After the Implosion, yeah, maybe? Mortal, Co Mortal Coil first is, is fine. Mm. It might change your line of play, so... I think if you have six on your playing... Oh, wow! <laughs> exactly. That's, that's a fucking eSport I deck. guess you implosion in BGH. You have oh, an exact mana for that. Wow. What a god. Taking no chances, just dismantling the giants. Double BGH deck is pretty smart. Not even four imps. What's wrong? Oh, There's a heal wow. <laughs> there is a heal bot. So, wait, wait, wait. Now the sequencing is really important, because... You want to get out the Molten Giant, but you can also tap, so you just you pay only one mana for the tap. Okay. Let's, what do you do here, though? Like, this is, the Steel Ball is such a huge top deck, but this is, this is... I don't know, both players can win it still. Like, even if Sixo drops the Maligos, Ico can't, Ico, Ico can't deal with it. Yeah, yeah he can for well, now. But the, he will have the Giant on board. Yeah, but he could just... Uh, Maligos Soulfire, next turn he kills him with the other spell, right? Uh, he will have 9, 13 points of damage. I think Hubert is still f still saving him. Uh, well, he can he can have a taunter here, 16. right? So oh, well, yeah, you will no, taunt wait. up. He will kill him with the with Hubert. Eco will go b out up to 16. So so what? I was thinking double oh, soul, wow. double soul fire. Wait, wait, but then wait, like wait, wait, wait. if he if he doesn't, oh my god! Okay, he can. Yeah, he will, he had the yeah, to protect for one mana. Yeah, yeah. yeah he will have enough mana. But he, 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 I feel thought he was going to play the other one. So I was thinking about maybe not taunting the giant, because it's your ticket to win this game. If you lose the giant, you don't have the burst that you need to, to finish the game, oh. right? It's pretty disgusting here. It's so hard. For All right. So what you have to do here is Maligos Soul Fire face, and then discard Iron Bigal with the Soul Fire, and next turn you will have the kill with the Dark One Soul Fire. Oh wow. Right? There is not enough mana. What no, it's not enough. You'll be one off. What if you just drop Maligos and kill the giant with mm -hmm. the soul fire? I would say so. You have the chance to keep um, the dark bomb soul fire. And then you kill the ancient watcher, so your your Maligos is uncontested from the board. I like that. I, li I like that a lot. That's a better play. Yeah, that's much better than risking. And uh, he didn't have lethal with them with my play. Go anyway. for it. Six, oh, six is what? Oh my god. Oh no no! no. Three cards left. Six so you have to remove the giant. Oh wow! He didn't go for it. What? 
I think it's so. What is plan? No, no, no. This is wrong. Like you have to think of it like this. Like um, you have to somehow win the game. And yeah, now it's it's not a way play to win. Like you can yeah. say like yeah, he played both silences. He still has Doctor Boom, right? So. Oh, he doesn't have. Do you think Boom? he played no, 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 he doesn't play Doctor Boom. Um, well, the Jaraxxus changes the game, I think, because it it not only yeah. adds damage per turn. But just imagine Sixer would have played the Soul Fire here. He would have had at least chance. Like he said, you saw both Iron Beak alls, and you yeah. don't, you don't yeah. even know if. And you saw the Shadow Flame. You saw Sylvanas. Yeah. So unless Eco plays like um, Siphon Soul or Twisting Nether. There's yeah. no option of killing the Maligos. I'm a bit surprised. I think Tixel is normally the player who goes for these plays, but he's not doing his best here, I guess. Well, you know, this is an, a stressful match. Yeah, and sometimes uh, you're not playing your uh, A game. That's a pretty good match. He didn't attack with the Sunfield Protector? Did no. I just see that? I think it, you just dropped Maligos here. No no space, man. No, no, no. He killed the Sunfield Protector. That's fine, Lothar. It's fine. You drop Maligos, no space, and go ham. Oh my god! Okay, okay, that's fucking exciting. Wait, this is still over. He has to yeah, kill Malaga yeah, somehow. Yeah, if he right. doesn't, if he doesn't get a heal bot. Oh, so oh my god! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh wow! Oh, oh. Okay, this is over then. And look at that. If he would play the, Mal uh, the Maligos, <laughs> the turn before <laughs> that. Wow. face. Wow. That top deck. How many cards does he have left? I three. don't even know. So that was like 33% to draw it. Wait, let's even play Cypher Soul. <laughs> People don't play it! Wow! <laughs> Look at Sixer's face! Sixer is devastated! Okay. If he would play the Malagos the turn before, he would still have the <laughs> chance to win the game. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Ecop winning 3 0 versus Sixer with that Siphon Soul top deck, winning a very oh, difficult wow, matchup. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, the guys are just stunts. Alright, guys, <laughs> we're, we're going to have Ecop here. Thank you, sir. We, we need to invite him and, and ask him <laughs> what happened? Like, what is going on? That's, that's pretty impressive, guys. We are watching DreamHack 2015 Grand Prix. And uh, that's the end of the day for Ecop. He ends up with 3 0. Yeah. A perfect score. So, Ecop, welcome to the table. You can sit down if you have a chair, I guess. No, he doesn't want to yeah, sit. He, he, he has a chair. a chair, but he doesn't want no, to sit. No, okay. So I do understand. How, how do you feel after winning 3 0? Not only winning 3 0 versus 6 0, but 3 0 on day one here at DreamHack. Easy game, easy life. What can I say? That's so, so you did plan for it. Oh wow! Of course. <laughs> it was actually pretty. It was a good match. We played it well, though. Ah, uh, why? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Ecop. Okay. Where's the next day? <laughs> but I think you played it really well. I liked it. Um, heads up, plays. Um, I don't know. Maybe you made six a bit tilt. Um, yeah, uh, we, we think so. Good a little six bit. I saw his emotions. Like yeah. it, 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 he didn't try to show it, but like I, yeah. I saw through him. Y you played yeah. a little violent for him. That's yeah, I played really aggressively. Like played blazingly fast. I was even surprised myself a little bit how fast I actually played. But yeah, I mean, yeah. I practiced a lot for this tournament. Mm -hmm. My plays were on point. I played um, like into perfect scenarios that I imagined would happen, and uh, yeah, Xixo played right into that. So and, and Xixo, yeah. we are both. Um, fault here that Six was playing too fast. He, he yeah. didn't think about the play. I think you made much. him tilt really hard. Yeah, he, he, maybe he was like uh, passively trying to match my pace. Maybe that didn't fit him. I, I was just going blazing fast, uh, especially because it's been a long day. I want to get it done. Yeah, so that's yeah. True. yeah, well, you did great. So you're free O now. You end your day with a perfect score, and um, you do, you only win to you ha you only have to have to win three matches tomorrow from four. Yeah. So you have the comfort in your mind that you can lose one one of the matches. You of course you don't want to, but you have the comfort that you can still lose one match. Yeah, but it's not my plan. My plan <laughs> is going seven zero. Yeah. Good, good. Well, we hope seven zero is a pretty good plan. We well hope you do it. Really good lineup. Well. I liked it. We played really heads up. I didn't say I see a misplay. Yeah. The really priest well man, a holy nova. You were kind of surprised oh, right. that you won, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I forget things, <laughs> like ancient yeah. mage. Nah. I mean, uh, yeah, sure. Why no, did you? Why did you? Not I would have gone for that. I would have gone for that play anyway, and then I realized, oh yeah, spell damage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, taking you back to the priest game, you actually decided to go into thought steal instead of a second uh, Naru. Yeah, exactly. That why, was why did one you of go the things that? that we fought. Um, thought. Wait, the second. So you, had a, you had a pyromancer on board, yeah, buffed. Okay. You had um, one of the. The light wardens. Light wardens. Yeah. yeah. And you could go for a second light warden and, and buff for more damage. No, there was no. Uh, there couldn't be a second light warden, I think, yeah. because of the minion was too much health. 
No, uh, you could have... Too, too little damage. It would have been you spell powered. Um, you you talked about it. That, that, that didn't really matter. You could have um, healed the first Light Warden. So it wouldn't die from the first Light of Naru. Yeah, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't spawn another Light Warden because of that. Your hero was damaged, right? At 26, from what I no. remember. No. No? It was 30. All okay, right. so never mind. Never really mind. Really well played. You are the winner, and you are going to finish the, uh, the day. I think we're going to invite you to cast with us maybe next match, maybe a, a match after that. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm in the mood for it. I'm 3-0. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy, guys. Happy. Like, yeah, this is going to be ma amazing. All right. I mean, and yeah. I want to thank uh, Super JJ for joining us here for the cast. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Super JJ, for casting me hopefully well. Hey, <laughs> I did my best. I don't know. Like he, he swore a few times, so oh, I think okay. it's okay. Yes. He said, like, oh my god, what a misplay many times. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, come on. From Tixu, from hopefully, <laughs> not from me. Maybe. You will have to rewatch the broadcast. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Um, and I think right now we are ready to go into a short break, a five-minute break. And after that, we will have a next match, which is, let's see. Is that is that Chucky? Oh, it's, it's Purple it's Drank like purple versus and Maverick. Uh, Maverick. Oh, perfect. Purple Drank versus oh, Maverick. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Nice.